Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Kajumko with your political news update for Thursday, May 12. It's Big Oil versus Congress. Today, five of the biggest oil companies will testify in front of the Senate Finance Committee on what's happening in their industry. The Big Five, as they're being called, took a beating last year during a similar hearing, and it's only expected to get hotter this year with gas prices hovering above $4 a gallon. Earlier this week, Democrats introduced legislation that would end tax breaks for these five. The money would then be used to pay down the nation's deficit. Executives from Chevron, Shell, BP, ConocoPhillips, and ExxonMobil will take part in this meeting. In other headlines, an American-turned-Islamist militant fighter is promising to get revenge for Osama bin Laden's death. Omar Hamami currently lives in Somalia, where he is part of a group that wants to topple the country's UN-backed government. But besides that, he's doing his best to rake up support for attacks on the U.S. He is one of hundreds in this particular group. Hamani was dubbed the jihadist next door by the New York Times because of his journey from a Southern Baptist background to an extreme Islamist. Meanwhile, officials found bin Laden's private journals among his belongings in the compound where he lived. It was full of detailed plans to attack the U.S., information about special groups, and notes from brainstorming sessions. The notebooks were handwritten, and apparently there were entries made every single day. And Planned Parenthood lost a major battle in Indiana yesterday. A federal judge sided with Governor Mitch Daniels to cut funding to the group, despite Planned Parenthood's claims that it was unconstitutional. This particular bill will still allow federal money to go to the group if the money is specifically used for family planning, but it will ban abortions after the 20th week of pregnancy unless the mother's life or health is in jeopardy. Planned Parenthood was hoping to keep the money coming at least until the bill was officially signed later this week. This new law takes effect July 1st. And that's your political news update for Thursday, May 12th. I'm Sarah Kajumko. Check back with RTTnews.com all day for the latest political headlines.